So I finally got a striker. Since I haven't seen it yet on the Reddit pages, that I might try to do a comparison video between the two, at least internally. Again, no one has really seemed to have done it. As you can see, for the most part, these two are pretty, pretty close in terms of internals. Initially, I took both of these apart so that I can actually get my hair trigger from the Nexus over to the striker. Problem is, thanks to this weird little screw post or security post, I actually don't know what this is, but thanks to that post, this trigger doesn't exactly work unless you were to cut it down. Which actually, there we go. But it turns out that yeah, it actually would work. Correction, what I said about the Nexus trigger potentially working for the striker if you were to shave off this tab, I'm actually very wrong about. I mean, you could theoretically still make it work, but you would also have to round off this corner as when you actually do try to actuate it, it actually will interfere with this post. And this post is actually meant to hold the, you know, the lower portion of the grip for the striker. It actually will take a lot more work than just shaving this off and, you know, just dropping it in. This, the release, definitely should be cross compatible and by the looks of it yeah that's cross compatible as i can do it right now here we go that's cross compatible that that works totally fine the catches are most definitely the same i'm gonna try to hold both of them in my hand excuse me that i'm wearing black gloves it might impair some of the viewing actually no hold on when you actually put them side by side the bottom portion is the same, but the top part of the catch is not the same. The, the Nexus is more squared off compared to the Striker, which has a tape to it. I would believe that this is most likely just so that, you know, to fit the body lines of the Striker, because Striker to Nexus, the Striker has a more rounded off, whereas the Nexus feels more squared. And I would imagine because of this, a Nexus catch shouldn't exactly be compatible with a striker and it seems just like it although it does fit it doesn't it doesn't interact with anything compared to you know the striker's original catch which you know actually plays with the shell which should be the same however are the plunger tubes they appear to be the same color they appear to be the same size from these two points, it appears to be 7.4 millimeters for the striker. Yep, just fits in perfectly. I, I didn't even have to move it. So the plunger tubes are the exact same. Pushers most likely are, are the exact same. They look the exact same at the design at, at the very least. You know, the design at the very least, they appear to be the exact same. This bar is also the same design. The bar would also look the exact same, but isn't the same as actually, I guess what you can call the dart gate. It, it genuinely does look like to be the same. It just kind of flip where the screw holes goes. Because here in the Nexus, it goes on this hole. And on the striker, it goes on that hole. But eyeballing it, it appears to be the same design. I would actually try to, you know, switch these two had I not glued my barrel to here. And I, I've already tried taking it off before I had the camera rolling and it's not gonna come off. So anyone with a Nexus, actually please do give that a try. I'm just trying to switch this out because if that is actually possible, then you can totally, you know, just get a Nexus kit for your striker. And the only thing that you wouldn't be able to use from that kit would be just the trigger the catch and that's really it you can use anything from from the worker nexus kit minus trigger and catch i could have sworn for the log it's this these two between the two blasters was different but it does seem like you can make it work might take a little bit of finessing but i mean if the only thing that changed was just where the screw goes and it should work I, like i said i don't see a reason why it wouldn't work it doesn't work for sure is the pump grip Here's the Nexus pump grip, you know, it's this nice chunky, you know, piece of plastic. Here's the striker and where it actually just has like these thin tabs that thin 
interact with this bit, with this bit, so then you put this bit around right here. You put it like that, and then the actual pump grip will go over this entire piece. So the pump grip for sure won't work. It may look like the bar will work, however. But it seems like if you still wanted to use the metal bar from that worker kit, it might actually work. The length appears to be the same. But again, I can neither conform, confirm nor deny this. Those would be the main differences between the Striker and the Nexus. Seems like most aftermarket bits for the Nexus will work with little to no modification. The catch for a Nexus, you know, the only aftermarket catch we have, I believe, is the one from Worker. That's not gonna work whatsoever just because of how different it is, you know, due to the shape of the two blasters. You know, you can definitely use skinny pushers on a striker that were meant for a Nexus. This word safety can totally work. The bar seems to work, but I can't confirm nor deny it. And it seems like the dark gate as well will also work. But again, I can't confirm or deny it. And I would like to actually have tried it. But since I, again, since I glued this to, to my dark gate and it's not coming out anywhere, I, I unfortunately can't do it.